Hey, what is up everyone? BG here back with another quick video and today we're gonna be talking about the five top uses for your Google Assistant. If you don't know what Google Assistant is, it is necessarily a revamped version of the Google Now. So this is only available for Android Now get devices as of now, but there is a little trick where you can get this on earlier devices. So if you wanna see that video, make sure you comment that down below and I'll give you guys a tutorial on how to get that on older devices. For this video, we'll be standing out of the top 5 commands you can try with Google Assistant so that you'll be able to do tasks much easier in an automated way. To put things in a better perspective, let us get started off with the list. At number 5, we have daily briefings. So what this means is that when you say good morning to Google Assistant, it will give you a list of things you have for the day. Let me just try that on my phone. Good morning. Good evening, Baradwich. It is 8.09 p.m. The weather in Matarai currently is 84 degrees and mostly cloudy with a high of 82 degrees. Your commute to work is currently 93 minutes with light traffic. If you take an H44 by car, have a wonderful day. You don't have any news sources selected. You can select them by going to assistant settings. In the meet. Okay, so what this will do is that list out the events you have for the day, read out the news if you have any configured and it will tell you the time you have to start before for work. At number 4 we have playing music. So now I can just ask Google to play any music and it will. Play Guts Over Fear. Playing music. So it does work. At number 3 we have Maps. So Maps is integrated very well into Google Assistant. So if you're outside you can just say ok Google take me home and it will give you directions to your house. And this works the other way around as well. So if you're in your house and you want to go outside you can just say ok Google take me to the nearest KFC and it does work. At number 2 we have setting alarms. Now you can also set reminders but I feel that alarms are way better than reminders because it is intrusive and you have either have to snooze or close it. And in the case of a reminder you just get a notification which is kind of... Anyway, set an alarm in 10 minutes to turn off the rice cooker. Alright, your alarm called turn off the rice school is set for 8.26pm. Okay, I said rice cooker but it thought of it as rice cool but <laughs> it still works. At number one we have the ability to control your home appliances using Google Assistant. Now this has always been a thing in the past but that has always been reserved for iPhone users using Siri but now we finally have it for Android. The command however goes like this. Ok Google, turn off the lights. It looks like those lights haven't been set up yet. So it takes you to a screen where you can configure your home control settings and uh, the devices they have are supported by Philips Hue, Nest, Honeywell, SmartThings and Vimo. Now I don't have any electrical appliances or home appliances from those companies so I can't show you guys a live demo. Anyways guys this has been it for this quick video. Make sure you hit that like button if you did enjoy it and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.